hello welcome and thank you so much for joining me today we are going to be doing a wig review we are going to be reviewing this unit here thank you so much for your support your likes your comments please keep them coming and don't forget to share this with your friends and share your platform and please turn on your notification that way you see when i upload new videos every week i'll be right back and we'll get this review started back so if you want to see how i style my short uh, afro i'll leave a link in my description box you can go over to my channel to check it out and if you also want to see how i achieve this makeup look today i have a video on my channel as well where i have shown you how i achieve the look so today i'm going to be reviewing the cleo lace wig in the style klw050 and in the color OT530. So OT here means it's going to be ombre. It's going to start as a black and ombre is into 530, which is like a burgundy, but not a dark, dark burgundy. So this is what it looks like. I haven't used or sold this unit before. I only just purchased this one. And so it says it's safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit with your curling iron. And ensure you use your heat protectant spray when you're applying heat to any uh, hair, whether synthetic or human. And then it just says here that it's fresh and trendy styles for every day. So apparently you can use this wig for your everyday look. And on top here just shows you the color OT530. So that is the same like an ombre tip. Okay, and then just uh the same thing it shows here uh it's cleo less wig and so this is the style we're going for i hope you can see that so this is what it's going to look like okay so let's get this started and uh bring it out of the pack so just out of the pack this is what you get okay so it's really packed nicely and that is a very nice color of red and as usual, they have left some washing instructions here. I'm just going to detach this so we can see uh, what it says there. All right. So here is an up close. And so the washing instruction is at the back. I don't know if this is reflecting too much for you. So it just says it's easy to style, easy to maintain. It's natural, human-like texture. So this is most likely a human head blend curling iron safe protective styling and then for the washing instruction uh just like any other hair make sure you brush out all the tangles use lukewarm water and then you can shampoo condition and just really uh brush it out and uh try not to rub the wig just squeeze very gently to press out the excess water and then it says you should place the wig on a wig stand and let it air dry so this is by a uh, model model so it's one of the model model collections and so as usual they have packed it uh with a uh, the thin lace here and i'm just going to take that off and then they have also packed it to keep the shape and protect the wig and there's something I'm noticing here, which I haven't noticed uh, that much with other wigs. The lace is actually like a, a light brown, right? Because most times the lace is always like shiny or something. And the part for this one is really, really good. It's a lace closure, but that closure is really amazing. And so like we said, it's ombre, so it starts as very dark roots and then ombres into this gorgeous red you see that so i'm excited i really want to try this on and see what it's going to look like i'm using a, a beige color cap you can use any cap you have available this just helps to protect your hair and gives you like a very nice shape when you're wearing your wig and then the inside let me quickly show you the inside. So the inside of this wig, it has two combs on the side this way. 
okay and you can see the the part there the path is really good and there's another comb on the back here and it also has adjusters excuse me you also have adjusters here that you can use to reinforce the wig or make it a little bit more snug and then the lace here you can just trim it uh, to customize it okay so let's put this on and see what it looks like so to put on your wig just hold on to the cap at the back here put your forehead where you have the lace and pull back so when you pull back ensure it's covering all the way to the nape of your neck okay and then there are tabs here that guides you to know where the part is all right so i'm just going to feel for the tabs now and then position it so you can move it forward or move it backward i'm not going to be trimming the lace because i'm just trying it on for you to see so you just want to make sure the tab here is sitting on top of your ear here and then there's another tab here you can just pull it forward and ensure it's also sitting on top of your ear so the cap is snug even if I didn't use the extra reinforcement. So the cap is snug. That is good. And so this is what the part looks like. So you see, because I use a beige color cap, you can see that it really mimics the scalp, right? So right out of the pack, this is what it looks like. It's short enough. I don't think you need to trim or do any other thing and if you know me i like to just wear the wig and go i don't want to do any plucking or anything so the hairline is not too bad at all you can trim off that lace and overall the hair is soft it actually feels like human hair okay it's not like the what i ordered versus what i got if you haven't if you haven't seen that video on my channel you need to go watch it so this one, I got what I ordered, although I have ordered from this store for a long time. So this is what it looks like. So you want to use a wide tooth comb uh, for any hair that has wavy texture. So this one is not wide enough, but this is what I have here at the moment. And then you want to ensure you spray your wig every day before you use it. So you can use any available braid spray of your choice. And then because this one is a little bit curly, you can actually use foam wrap or any mousse, uh, non-alcoholic mousse. Because if you use alcoholic mousse, then it just dries it too much. So you can use foam wrap or any mousse of your choice. So overall, I really like this wig. I think it's really pretty. The color is amazing. The length is fine. And the path, that is just awesome. So let me know, have you tried this wig before or have you used anything that is similar? I'm going to give this one a double thumbs up. So leave me a comment. What do you think? Does this suit me? Can this be my everyday wig? And uh, that's where we're going to wrap up this video for today. Don't forget to turn on your notification, like this video, share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't. Until next time when I bring you another amazing episode, have a blessed and wonderful day. See ya!